Hey guys, it's Ashley from I'm Not a Tree, and today I'm unboxing a new box. Um, this one I'm really excited about. I'll tell you, like, I receive a lot of boxes, and I have like a little queue when they come, and you know, they gotta wait their turn. Um, I, this one's been like staring at me, and I'm like, whoa. And I'll tell you why. It's called the Finer Things Box, and it's a bi monthly subscription. It's $49 each, um, each box, which you'll get six a year. And what it does is it sends your box from a different historical destination each time. So you could be taken to the, I don't, you know, any time in history. And that is like really exciting because we don't get a lot of items from different eras or anything. You know, obviously most of the things that we receive are current. So this is exciting because we might get something totally out of the normal and and they're also a Pennsylvania-based company because we're Pennsylvania-based and we love that. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so anyway, let's do this. I did, um, unfortunately, I tried to do this before, but the, I'm downstairs and it's daytime and it's like really loud and I had to wait until it was a little quieter. So I know one of the items in here. All right, so here's the label. It's a pretty simple black box, the Finer Things logo. And then we open it up and we have this like beautiful gold tissue and it's like shimmery and sparkly. So nice. So then we open and we have our card and it says, welcome to the Gilded Age. The Gilded Age is like the 1870s to the 1900s, I believe. Yes. Coined by Mark Twain. Um, it's the time of like uh, revolutionized Titans of industry revolutionized the Western economy and created the modern workforce. So there was like, this is like the time when, so I guess like, not the, is it the railroads? No, that's later. But like the labor force, labor struggles, political corruption, and progressivism marked much of the period, but it is also famed for the lavish lifestyles and opulence of the upper classes. So this is at a time like when things were a lot different. Let's just say that. So, let's see. This is the item I already know about. Um, it was the first thing I pulled out. It says, like, sideways like this. And it looks almost like gauze. But then you look and it says, Le, Le Petit Saunier. Caramels. Al I don't know these words. It's in French. Salted butter caramel. And mini round box with caramels. So, it's just a little box. And you open it and it's sealed. So, I'm not going to open it. I'll open it, whatever. No, I didn't take my pictures yet. Okay, maybe I won't. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's sealed on both sides. I don't have the scissors handy. Oh, we're going to have to wait, I think. Okay, so there's little caramels inside. There's three, four, five, six, seven caramels, and they look delicioso. I can't wait. I love caramels. I love to try different ones, so this is exciting. We'll definitely be giving these a try. I love the logo as well, the French. Like, it's very fun. I guess that's what they mean by that opulent time, and I don't know if these have been available since that time, like they were available around that time, or these are just... Um, you know, I'm trying to find out. <laughs> I'll, I'll obviously, now obviously, as I always do, I'll link down below to my full blog review where you can check out when I actually do find out and I, after this video and I go look everything up and find out all the real details about it. And then I'll also link to the finer things box so you can check them out and give them your money. All right. So our next item is <gasps> something beauteous. Okay. So there's a little, I guess, I don't know what exactly this is yet, but it's a little map. And it's like a car. Oh, it's a compact. I thought so. Oh my gosh. I don't want to send you into the world of backwards. But it's like a... Oh, I love this. This is so cool. It's like very old, obviously old world. But like very cool and different. Very much like that a lot. Okay. And then obviously also I didn't mention this. But on the back of our card it tells us everything we received. We're not going to obviously look at that yet. All right, so next, there's a lot of stuff in this box, a lot of stuff. All right, so this is black currant Dijon mustard. Ooh, that sounds really good. We love mustard. We actually make this. My husband makes it. I don't make it. 
it's an amazing dish with um it's a pork pork and apples and onions his mother's french so uh this and this is from france um so this would just probably be really good with that but we use a lot so i don't know if this is enough however um i will definitely try this black currants are like little fruit i'm oh i'm certain so i'm trying to read i wonder what it tastes like excited to try it. I've never seen pink mustard. Like, have you ever seen pink mustard before? Mm. This is Edmund Fallot. So you can see there. Okay. So our next item is Bedford Soap Company Old Fashioned Lye Soap. Ooh, this is kind of spooky. That picture is spooky. Anybody else kind of feel that? So it smells like very um, oaty. And it's in like a linen. This is fabric. So, all right, I'm going to read the little, the little, it's unscented. That's why it smells like that. Um, made from a family recipe passed down for over 100 years in Bedford, Virginia. Bedford soap is a pure natural lye soap free of detergents and additives. This mild moisturizing soap is wonderful for all skin types. Yeah, made in Thomasville, North Carolina. And this has a, um, an Etsy shop. Uh, associated with it, which I'll obviously I'll link to all these wonderful companies in my blog review. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so there, I'm noticing obviously a lot of French. Um, so I'm not sure if that like at that time, the Gilded Age, that there was a lot of uh, industrial boom in France, or if maybe the opulence they're talking about was um, getting getting things from France because it's kind of a foreign and exotic the love languages and all that all right so our next item is a spreader or a like serving spread it could be a cheese cutter maybe i'm not sure exactly i'm not all fancy yet yet after this box i will be though <laughs> so let me look at the card and just tell you exactly what that is okay actually now that i'm looking at this so here it says, in your Gilded Age box, French cuisine was in high fashion of society during this time. Enjoy sweet and savory hors d'oeuvres with Edmund Fallot, Black Curt. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, I don't see anything. Okay, I guess this is just to spread the maybe the mustard with or something like that because it's not on the little but it is really cool definitely something i'm going to use and it's from thunder group inc <laughs> all right so our next item is okay this was actually on the card so this is an indian head penny and this is actually from the gilded age so this is made in that time it's really cool actually um so that this is something you can own that was made then, which I think is really cool too. An interesting inclusion in the box. It does say 1893. I think that's what it says. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I'm not a coin collector or anything, but it's cool to have things that are really old. But you can actually put a date, like you know when this was... You can always guess with stuff, but all right. So the next item is these uh, brioche pasquier mini toasts. So I'm guessing that we're going to put our mustard on the mini toast. Look at them. They're so cute. I've had things like this. Never these exact, um, this exact brand. And this is a product of France. Um, however, I've had things similar to this and these are very good. I love these. They're like so good. All right. So our next and final item in the Finer Things box is this chestnut spread. Oh, Clement Fogier, Prevost Friends, Product of Friends, the Creme de Maron de la Ardoche. This is all just conjecture about. So they do have like the, the, the customs labels when something is imported. Um, so this is just like, ch I guess it's just chestnut chestnut spread i've never heard of this it's huge it looks like a tube of tooth like i thought it was toothpaste when i first um so i guess we're supposed to put this on our crackers as well 
oh my gosh, this is insane. I don't know. I've never heard of chestnut spread. I've so I'm looking at the ingredients. Chestnut sugar, candied marrones, glucose water, and vanilla natural essence. This looks like amazing. Like oh, I'm trying to get it out and it's like sticking. So let me show you the it's one of those metal it's like an actual like a metal tube oh this is great i just love this oh my goodness so it looks like it's gonna taste good i'm not gonna try it right now but it i just love the package like the package is like so cool i love it all right so anyway that's every i feel like i'm rambling on and on and on um, so that's everything that we received in our finer things box. This is definitely a box. Like if you just want to try different things, like I've never received any of this kind of stuff in a box before. And like, it's like, what a fun box. This is like, this is fun. Um, so definitely do check out my full blog review. I'm going to do a little research on all of these items so that I can be a little, uh, I keep saying a little, be more certain about what I'm talking about. I don't want to just go talking and talking and you, I'm saying things that aren't true. Um, so then I can, you know, be accurate. And I'm also going to link to finer things. Please do check them out. If you're into like different kinds of foods or history, or just like to try new stuff, this is probably the box for you. I'm interested to see what they send out in future boxes. I'm just like, wow, this is really cool. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, it's been a pleasure. I will see you next time.